Welcome to Heidi Relationships. Today, we'll read some more stories from Reddit. But before we start, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and maybe leave a comment down below. That would help the channel a lot. Thank you very much in advance. The first one is titled, X, Almost, Mother-in-Law Fired Me Unrightfully, So I Destroyed Her Company. Hey everyone, I decided to share my story, it all took place 17 years ago, but I feel like it belongs here smiley face. At that time, I was 20 years old and dated my first true love, we been together for 1, 5 years already and everything was just great. Her mother really liked me, and she had her own company which traded fashion clothes for kids, she made a ton of money. They needed someone to drive one of their 3, 5T truck and she came up with an idea to hire me cuz. I was unhappy with a job I had. So as a win-win situation I accepted her offer and we started working together. Job was okay, even though I had to work a huge amount of overtimes cuz she thoroughly introduced me how the whole company worked. She had a huge storage facility, a store, and two trucks. One that I drove and a big one. I worked for her like one year and in that time, I knew every single thing about the company cuz she trusted me with also the dirty secrets, this later came in handy. This is where things took a huge turn. I found out that my girlfriend cheated on me with her ex, and as a result I broke up with her instantly. It was an ugly situation, and after it went down, I called her mother and told her what was going on and that I don't want to mix things with business, so I will still be there for work, even though I don't want to see her daughter again. She said everything is alright but of course she sided with her daughter, and I felt that she is mad at me cause of the breakup. I went to work and acted as a professional should, took all the drama aside, however soon after she singled me out it started looking for mistakes so she can discipline me. This has been going on for months and I realized she just waiting for an excuse to fire me, but I wasn't going to give that reason to her that easily. She was pissed that she couldn't find big mistakes and the small ones she often just made up was not enough to terminate me. So, she came up with a plan. On the truck we had a power generator which provided a light and a power for laptop, printer and so on. It worked in two ways, with fuel when we were on the road and with cable in case we were at the storage. But it was not made by a company they just hired an electrician for that, and he made an error, so we had to flip a switch all the time if we used it with a cable connection otherwise it would burn down. As I loaded the truck, she convinced a co-worker to flip the switch back and after a few minutes the lights were gone, and I noticed something's wrong. It burned out of course but I knew I didn't forget the switch cause I was loaded the truck for an hour, and it only took 5 minutes tops to burn out so it couldn't be me. She didn't even hear me out started yelling fired me on the spot and stated that she going to pay the repairs out of my last salary so don't expect any money from her. I didn't take that lightly and told her that, I don't think you want to go this way with me, but she refused to listen. It took a few days for me to cool down, but I wanted to give her a last chance. I called her and told her even though I know what was going on and she did set me up, but if I get my money, I will call it an end and we don't have to see each other again. She told me to duck off, so I came up with a plan. First because I knew that the store, she had didn't had a bathroom which was illegal in my country, the shop assistants had an agreement with a restaurant on the opposite side to go there if they need it. I reported this to the authorities and the next day they closed the shop because of this violation and told her she can't open up until they have a bathroom. She called me right away and asked me if I have anything to do with this. I laughed and told her. Didn't, I told you that you don't want to go this way with me, and hung up. I knew that we worked so much overtime that me and the other truck driver had so much overdrive on the Tacho cards, it records how many hours you drive and how fast, and when you stopped, so I called the authorities again and told them everything. They went and checked all the records and gave the company a brutal fine. She sent me obscene text messages all day long after that. I replied, ain't done yet. Then silence, few hours went by, and my phone rang, she called and asked me if we can talk it over? She even said she send me my last paycheck, but I shut her down immediately, and told her, too late for that. 
And I called the fire department and told them that the wires they had in the walls of the stored were outdated which caused short circuits daily and that they only have two fire extinguishers for the whole place when they should have like 12 to 15. On that very day they had to close the storage as well so she lost the last place where she could make money for months until they get everything up to date and renew all the wires, which cost a huge amount of money. Because of the fines she got from the different authorities she couldn't afford these renovations of course. Few months later she filed for bankruptcy, I know because my ex-girlfriend called me with. I hope you're happy butthole, you made my family bankrupt. I never got my paycheck but at that point I didn't even cared anymore, I was happy with the outcome. I hope you enjoyed my story. Update. I never thought that my post going to get so much attention. First of all, thank you for all the support I tried to answer to every one of you. I got a bunch of DMs from people asking questions and I thought the best way is to make an update instead of typing the same thing to everyone over and over. Also thank you for all the awards. Oh, and sorry in advance for my grammar xd let's get into it. So, after a few months the tax department, or as some of you know it IRS, took almost everything from her. Store, stuff, storage, trucks the whole nine yards. She got so many fines from different authorities she could not pay it, so after everything was gone, she sold her house moved to a smaller apartment and never owned a business again as far as I know she works in a store as a clerk, things not looking good. My ex-girlfriend. Well, she married to the next guy and now they have four kids. After the second child she really let herself go, and now if I'm happy that I didn't had a child from her. I'm not going to fat shame her but. Damn at least they still together so maybe. Just maybe she learned a lesson and did not cheat on him. Or so I hope. About me. I had a long relationship after her. My son was born but she was a lazy ass gold digger so after 5 years we separated. I've met the love of my life after that and since almost 9 years we are still happy together. She also got out of a terrible relationship, abuse, and domestic violence, so she truly appreciates me and vice versa. I love her to death. I hope I answered all the questions. Love you all. Bye. The next one is titled, I, 23F. Had a one night stand with a guy, 25M. And later found out he has a long term girlfriend. Should I tell her? A few weeks ago, I was at a bar with some friends and this really handsome, charming guy approached me and brought me a drink. We were chatting and then he suddenly kissed me, and we exchanged numbers. Later that night, I was at home, and he texted me asking if I wanted to meet up. I did. I gave him my address and he came over. We had a drink, and then we had sex. He was surprised when I asked him to use a condom. He said, how cute, you're so careful. And I just laughed it off and said, I don't know you, and you don't know me. Anyway, after that, he went home. During the week, I was scrolling through Facebook on my lunch break, and he came up as a suggested friend, probably because his number is in my phone. I clicked on his profile, and he's in a relationship. He's been with this girl since 2017, and she posts about him a lot. She looks to be very much in love with him. I know he's probably sleeping with other women aside from me, he was so swift in the way he came in, got me a drink, kissed me and got my number that I feel he's done it plenty of times before. I'm shocked that he didn't intend on using a condom, I don't have an STD, but he doesn't know that, and he was just willing to risk giving an STD to his girlfriend. Maybe he has already, I'm also not on any birth control pill so his willingness to take that risk was surprising. I was so torn about what to do in this scenario. I considered making a burner Facebook account and messaging her. Or not getting involved at all. Or asking him what's going on. I didn't decide on a solution. And then this weekend that just passed, he messaged me again on Saturday night, asking me to come out with him. I left him on read. Should I message her? Do I do it from a fake account? A user in the comments said. I would tell her and try to say something specific so she knows you're not lying if you can. Like where exactly he was when you met him or something like that. Edit. To clarify what I mean. It would be fine to just tell her. 
But I know some people are so delusional, or sadly, gaslit, that they just cannot believe something even if it's obvious. So, it'd just help her out more if you had some evidence you can mention, especially if you're doing it anonymously. Another user said, I definitely think you should message her. Wouldn't you want to know if your partner was cheating on you? I think there is always a moral obligation to tell the aggrieved partner. But yes, use a fake account, send screenshots, and don't be surprised if she doesn't have the strength to leave him. Being in a relationship with someone who abuses, or cheats can take a serious toll on a person's self-esteem, and they start to feel like they deserve it or become terrified of losing their partner. It is still helpful of you to give her evidence that she can use as leverage in her relationship. The next one is titled, Update. I-23F had a one-night stand with a guy 25M and later found out he has a long-term girlfriend. I wish I could say I swooped in and was the hero of the story and rescued this girl from potentially more years of being disrespected by this man. But I'm pretty sure she saved herself. I read every comment on that post and weighed up all the options, and I decided I would wait exactly a month and half, so that it wasn't so obvious who I was then make a burner account and DM the girlfriend just with some vague information about what happened and leave it up to her to decide if she wants to believe me. However, shortly after I made that post, I checked both of their Facebook profiles and they know both say, single. She has also removed all pictures of him. On her latest Instagram posts, there's a few comments from her friends expressing that they're here for her, they hope she's okay etc. So, it's safe to say they broke up. My guess is that he was sleeping with other girls as well as with me, and one of them alerted her to it. So, it worked out in the end. A very sad situation, but at least she's not wasting more of her precious young years on that guy. The next one is titled, I-30F, caught my husband, 31M, in an affair, and I don't know how to move on. I've suspected things had been going on for a while but kept brushing it off, I thought he would never do that to me. Since around April, he's been refusing my attempts to have sex most of the time, sitting differently on the couch to where he's facing away from me. Little things. It's with one of our good friends. She came to my house a few weeks ago. She's texted me. She's pretended to be there for me. I found out because I rolled over, and they were having a Snapchat conversation. She said she wished she could be there to hold him, and he summarized that I tried to seduce him last night and mocked it. I confronted him and he admitted it. He said that it was because quarantine was stressful. He does not want to work things out. He thinks of me, only as a friend in his heart. When I told her husband, he confronted her and apparently, they actually kissed back in February. I think at that moment, I was never going to be enough for him. We used to be so happy. The week before they kissed, we celebrated Valentine's Day together. He bought us a nice bottle of wine for our anniversary. We had fun, we were perfect. I don't know where to go from here. We've been married only about a year. I feel like he took so much from me and doesn't even want to go to therapy or work this out. I don't want to leave my house but everywhere in it I see him. He chose her. I've been cheated in every relationship I've ever been in. He was supposed to be my forever. I don't know what to do. I've made therapy appointments, but I was also laid off last month, so I have too much free time to analyze every single moment where he might have been lying to me or where I made myself pathetic trying to cling to him. How do I start to get through this? A user in the comments said, Lawyer first. Get the divorce filed and get their advice on if it's okay for you to leave the house while things are processing. As for the other, you need to fill your time. Devote yourself to hobbies, including picking up new ones. Rely on friends, long video calls, watching movies together, etc. Fill as much of your time as you can until things start to process. I'm so sorry he gave up on you without even trying, hun. You deserve far better than that. It's a shame some people are so good at hiding how little respect they have for other folk. But please hold on to the fact that none of this was your fault. There is absolutely zero reason for a partner to cheat, ever, and there is absolutely no justification that can put even a shred of the blame on you. Another user said, 
you can't go to therapy and work this out. It only gets worked out if both people want to put the effort in, and your husband has made it very clear he's not interested in trying to make the relationship work. He directly told you that. You need to find a lawyer and file for divorce. The next one is titled, Update. I-30F, caught my husband, 31M, in an affair, and I don't know how to move forward. First of all, I just want to thank everyone here for the support I received following my first post back in August. At the time, it truly felt like my world was ending. It was important to me to make this update because I need to tell anyone who's currently going through the same thing, it gets better. You will get so much better. I had one conversation with my husband since everything happened, by his choice. It lasted maybe five minutes and was like talking to a robot. I know from others that he cries to people about how he ruined his life, but I have never once gotten an apology or the same show of regret. At this point, I don't care. I know him and the other woman are still seeing each other and frankly, they deserve each other. Good for them. While I still feel angry occasionally, I no longer mourn what I once had. Instead, I'm so excited for the life I now get to live. I moved to a small walkable city and gave myself my dream apartment. It makes me so happy to see how I've decorated it and to just live in a cozy place instead of our old dreary house. I was the breadwinner in our marriage, and he would make me feel awful about wanting to pay for nice meals or do fun things. Since moving here, I've done a ton of foodie fun stuff and don't feel guilty. It's so refreshing. I have dipped my toe into the dating pool again and had plenty of mediocre dates from dating apps. Recently, I found someone who I've really clicked with and am enjoying how appreciated and desired he's made me feel. It's definitely early and we're moving slow, but overall, dating has made me realize that I'm a catch who doesn't have to settle. Therapy has done wonders and I'm so happy I immediately dove into it. My therapist is proud of me. I'm proud of me. I've stopped looking at being divorced as a failure. He failed, not me. I'm genuinely happy and excited to wake up each morning and no longer feel like this terrible weight is sitting on my chest. The holidays were surprisingly easy, and I found myself so happy to spend time with my family without having to compromise anything. So, all in all, life is good and there's so much of it ahead. Looking back, I can't believe I wasted so much time thinking about how I could get him to come home. I've made my own home and my own happiness and that is worth so much more. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the relationship stories. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and write a comment. I really appreciate your support and it helps my channel so much. Thank you.